It was too, but I also read that, that, that you made a decision to make the music more the way it is now and beforehand you were more aggressive, more loud. Was it true? Because I read it in, in it was more. Years. It was more what you would call power pop yeah. before, I would say. Um, I think that, well, there was, never, there was never a moment where we, where we consciously said, we need to move into this genre or something. Um, but absolutely listening to the stuff that we listened to in New York uh, changed the sound of our music substantially. Which, which was? Um, like, what were we listening to? Uh, I th you know, just New York bands, bands like uh, Les Savvy Fav, uh, Liars, um, you know, yeah, 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 as in Strokes, of course, um, TV on the radio, uh, Oxford great Collapse. Band. Yeah, TV on yeah, great band. Um, I mean, the fact is, New York is just full of really great bands. I mean, there are but a lot do of you, really crappy ones, too. But, sorry. No, okay, sorry. <laughs> but do you speak to them? Is, uh, there, is, there, is there some kind of, because people say there is a scene, but is there a scene with people interacting and talking to each other and maybe there, there's, digging? Yeah, I, I think there is a scene. We're not really part of the scene. Um, but because I think when we moved out there, those bands were, that's around the time those bands started to get established. Uh, I think Is This It, Stroke's first album came out maybe six months after we moved to New York. So that's when the New York scene started to kind of get big. And the AAS were, were you know, getting big that next year. Uh, so we, and, you know, at that time, like I said, we weren't, we weren't much of a band. I mean, we, we did play shows, but there are a million bands in New York that play shows. So um, we don't know any of those people, no. I, we, do, we do have a couple of bands in New York that, that have grown up more, uh, you know, on our timeline. Like that have just started to to mature in the last year or two, um, and those are bands that I think are starting to get big now. Um, that hopefully a year from now you'll be impressed when I tell you I know them. <laughs> but uh, name me uh, name me a few. <coughs> um, I would say. Uh, then we have it. Before. Yeah, then we'll have it. We'll have the evidence. Yeah. Uh, Shy Child. Okay. Oxford Collapse. And uh, Bishop Allen would probably be my my three bets for 2006. Okay. Um, those are bands that I think that I think are sort of at a similar point to where we are now, maybe six months behind, and they're they're gonna get they're gonna get big in the next okay. the next year. And the um, well, you were saying the the sound evolved. You were saying. Yeah. Well, you know, I think the thing is, you go to if you go to a a Le Savvy Fab show. Um, and you know you're sort of blown away. Um, you have to be really arrogant to go home and say, "I'm going to keep my music the way it is because the fact is they're better than you." <laughs> so, so I think you know you naturally. I don't you know I don't think it's as conscious as we're going to start trying to play like Les Stevie Fav, but it it sinks in. You know you you watch all these bands that are you know better than you. And and you basically start to try to be more like them, you know. But you, how did you did you talk about it with the three of you, or how does it how does it go, or is it, or is it something more subconscious? No, I think it's more subconscious. I mean, when I when I identify this pattern, it's it's only in retrospect. Yeah, okay. It's only looking back and saying, you know, acknowledging that that music has clearly had an effect on our music. Um, you know, the this I think most specifically. Uh, the drum, the drum stuff, uh, the, the rhythms, um, the sort of, uh, I don't know, robotic time signatures where Michael will sometimes um, be playing in three or something, even though the song's in four, so that the pattern kind of uh, switches where it is on the beat, you know, move it. I think that, I think that to me sounds very New York-y. Um, and then the, Keith's guitar tones sound very New York-y to me. His uh, delay, you know, 